Hey everybody, Derek from Make Media Studios, and this week I'm gonna show you how to take your audio dialogue tracks that sound something like this and edit them in Adobe Audition to sound more crisp and clean like this. All right, welcome back to the channel. This week we're gonna just go into how to edit your audio in Adobe Audition. If you're paying for the Creative Cloud suite like I am, because I use Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and Premiere Pro, why not use Audition as well? If you're not using Audition, you're really doing it wrong. You have an asset there and an application that can help you edit your audio and make it sound 100 times better. What you're hearing right now is edited audio in Adobe Audition. Now from this point on, I'm gonna take away that edit. And this is what it sounds like normally out the mic recorded into the recorder that I'm using right now. All right, just some key tips to look into right off the bat. Mic placement. Your region is your mouth to your upper chest. The mic should be pointing right there because the human voice actually resonates from your vocal cords and the vibrations from your chest. When you're really close to someone, the low end chest rumble comes through in someone's voice. So the microphone needs to be pointed at that section to get that. Now, if you're filming with your microphone really far across the room, you can't get that rumble or that low end. So you need to have your mic closer so you can get those low end frequencies in the voice. That's your first tip. And then let's just do an audio sample here that we're gonna use in the computer when we're editing. Here we go. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays? And we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. All right, so that's our audio test sample that we're gonna use in Adobe Audition to show you how I edit audio. All right, let's bring all that into the computer. All right, so we've pulled in that test clip and test audio into Premiere Pro and this is what we have, okay? Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays? And we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. Okay, so that's our test track. And how you edit in Adobe Edition is, is really cool because Adobe has dynamic link. So you can go here and you right click on this and you go edit clip in Adobe Audition, which it will then render and replace, and it will open up Adobe Audition with the clip that you're editing in your Premiere Pro timeline. Let's open this up full screen. Okay, so here's the clip, let's play it again. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays? And we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. So some of the things I like to do first, I'm gonna to go to effects and I'm gonna to go to amplitude and compression and I am going to go to normalize, all right? I like to normalize everything to negative six because that's where I start applying my adjustments. So let's add some compression. So what compression does is it takes the loudest portions of the audio and the softest portions of the audio and brings them closer together. All right, so that means the softer times you speak and the louder parts you speak are closer together. It's easier to hear the full statement. So let's go ahead and go effects, amplitude compression, single band compressor. All right, so I keep these pretty much the same. I always go with about a three ratio uh, attack release and gain. That's that I never adjust. It's just the threshold. It's when it kicks in. Okay, so if we look here, our peaks start to go a little high around the negative 12 point. So if we go negative 12, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take anything that crosses negative 12, this one, this one, this one, and these in the front, and it's going to um, adjust the volume to bring those down. So we hit apply, you'll watch those peaks drop, okay? So they dropped, you know, pretty significantly. I would go effect, I go back to normalize again, and I re-bring everything to negative six, okay? So that just compressed my voice a little bit. It, I might even do it again sometimes. I'm gonna go one more time and I'm gonna put something at negative nine this time, just cause I want all of, I want all of these peaks here to be crushed a little bit. So apply that, okay. Back to this, go to my normalize again and bring everything to negative six. Okay, 
So let's listen to that with a compression. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays? And we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. All right, so now that I've crushed down the loudest points and brought up the soft points of the audio, I'm gonna look at this right here because this is a dead spot and I'm gonna listen to see if there's any noise. So there's some noise in there. You probably can't hear it here on, on, on YouTube, but you can see here in the levels that there's some noise, okay? So what I do is pause that, I grab this section, I go to effects, noise reduction, capture noise print. It's gonna capture that noise right there and then you can remove it from the entire thing. Noise reduction model production, there we go. Let's bring this in here. Okay, so this is gonna, so here I bring it to the beginning and I'm gonna play it so I can listen to see what's happened if it's when it's taken out that noise. I actually output the noise only to hear just the noise and see if I hear my voice. If I hear my voice a lot, then I know that the noise reduction is actually grabbing my voice, which I don't want it to do. So let's go ahead and hit play. It's grabbing my voice a little bit, but it's 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 okay. So now unclick that perspective and what they're doing in their creation and hit apply. Now that just cleaned up the, the background noise, okay? So now let's listen to that one more time. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays? And we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. Okay, so now let's do the next part, which is you wanna throw a little bit of EQ on there. All right, so let's go down to filter and EQ, parametric equalizer. And what's really great about this is there's already a preset called vocal enhancer. There's default, and then there's like high passes and low passes. Those can be used for different problems, but let's go to vocal enhancer and let's hit play. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays and we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. I think this vocal enhancer preset is a pretty good starting point. If you don't really feel comfortable messing with EQ, then this is probably where you wanna begin. Um, I like to take a couple of these and do a little bit of adjustments. I like to bring down my mids. I like to bring up my low end just a little bit more. And, and I do something more like that, okay? Let's see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives. Sounds like something that you should probably check out. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that all right, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna now add all that. So then I just come in here. I go to single band compressor. I go to negative six because I know that's where I normalized everything. And I just wanna make sure nothing has crossed that point, which I think is just a little bit like right here. So hit apply, that brings that. Effects, we're gonna go back to normalize again. And we're actually gonna bring everything to negative three now. Okay, so now that I've normalized everything to negative three, I know nothing's gonna hit that zero dB mark, which is clipping. And negative three, I find that vocal, I like to have it negative six, and the loudest points to hit it at about negative three. So this should do that for me. If you look at the equalizer down here at the bottom, you'll see that most of my talking should happen between like a negative 12 and a negative three. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays? And we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. Okay, we never had any clipping. It barely got into the red a little bit there. And I find that that point between yellow and red is right where like, it's like the mastering of the track. That's where you wanna be. And now all you have to do in audition from this point is you hit save and it will automatically save it back over in Premiere. So now this track in Premiere is automatically linked and it is the new track. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays and we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. Hey, how's it going? Did you know that we have a podcast on this channel that comes out on Mondays and we talk to other creatives all around the world to see their perspective and what they're doing in their creative lives? Sounds like something that you should probably check out. All right, so I hope that that helped. I think that it's a great starting point to start messing with Adobe Audition with your audio tracks and not just use what comes out of the camera or the microphone plane and by itself. 
All right, so just a quick summary. I right click on my audio track in Premiere Pro. It brings it into Adobe Audition. I like to do a normalize everything to negative six dB. Then I do a compression round, maybe once or twice, depending on how many times I need to do compression, ranging from a negative 12 or a negative six or even a negative like 18 um, compression threshold at a three to one ratio. Then once I'm happy with the loud parts of the audio and the, and the softest parts of the audio being closer together, then I go through and do one round of noise reduction. I grab a section where I wasn't speaking or breathing so that there's no, vo no noise from me and it's just the room ambiance from my either my lights or um, a fan in the other room or something going on outside. I do noise reduction, capture the noise point, then I remove that noise. Then I do the noise reduction process. Okay, then I go back and I do an EQ now because I'm at negative six dB. I EQ everything at negative six dB and I use either the vocal enhancer and or I do my own little adjustments. I hit apply. Then I do a single band compression again at negative six to make sure any of the EQ that pushed that past negative six has been taken down. And then I normalized everything to negative three, which is kind of a mastering of the dialogue. You hit save, it's back in Premiere Pro, bloop, blap, blap, you're done. That's how I edit my audio for my podcast. I edit my audio for these tutorials and I edit my audio for my clients and different gigs that I'm doing. All right, thank you very much for watching this tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, go down below and hit that subscribe button. I think we just hit 250 subscribers. So that's really cool. We had a really big video last week that pushed us like 50 subscribers in like one video. I'm trying to get to that thousand, you can help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, tell a friend, leave me a comment, ask me a question. If you find a better way than doing this, let me know. I'd like to learn from what maybe you do that's better than what I do. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial today. I'm Derek and we are out. Wait, stop. Look, there's more things that you can still do. If you minimize whatever video you're currently watching of mine and you scroll down a little bit, there's gonna be this red subscribe button. You know what you do? You click it. Just check this out, ready, watch. It's it, crazy. It goes from red to gray. Right? Blew my mind. I want you to check to see if yours goes from red to gray. Tell me in the comments below if it did or not. Other than that, you have a great day sitting at home or whatever you're doing at work or in the car. If you're driving, put down the phone and look at the road. But other than that, thanks. Have a good day.